Hey, are you in charge around here? That depends. Who are you? I'm Petra, and I'm the one asking the questions. Is that supposed to be tough talk? Uh, yes. Not bad. Needs work, but not bad. Well, Petra, my name's Chopper. Nick Chopper. Most folk call me the Tin Man. I can't imagine why. Yeah, I know. The names people come up with. You'd think they'd have a bit more respect for their governor. You're the governor of Winky Country. You got it. Put in charge after the Wicked Witch of the West got her ticket punched. Lucky me. I'm looking for something called the Keystone. You are, huh? Do you know where it is? Me? No. Never heard of it. Did an expedition party come here recently? Those guys? Yeah, they came here acting like they owned the joint. They rented my horse for the day and then went off into the mountains. Did they find anything? They found something all right. The horse came back scared out of his mind. The guys that went with him, they disappeared. What happened to the expedition party? Don't know. Scared the sawhorse pretty good, whatever it was. He won't talk about it. You don't seem very curious. I'm not. I've got my own problems. I need to know where the expedition went. Can your horse take me? Sure he can, but he's not going to. Why is that? First of all, he's scared stiff of whatever was out there. Second of all, I need him here. What do you know about the Keystone? I never heard of it before. Let's change the subject. Might as well. I don't know anything about a Keystone. Tell me about yourself, Nick. That's Governor Chopper to you, and I ain't got nothing to say. I just want to ask a few questions. You don't have to answer. Go ahead and ask, then. What are you drinking? This? Cotton clip crude oil. Ah, the hard stuff. It gets me through the day. Maybe you should take it easy on the oil. Too much of that can be bad for you. Did you come here to talk or to nag? I could say something about your hat, but I won't. What's wrong with my hat? Nothing. Just like there's nothing wrong with my drinking. How did you get to be governor? There wasn't anybody qualified after the witch died, so I got chosen. After being ruled by the witch, they wanted someone with a kind heart. And they chose you? Things were different back then. What do you do as governor? Huh. I don't even know myself. I'm supposed to be in charge, I guess. But ever since the war, I got corrupted just like everybody else. What kind of corruption? Eh, forget I said that. That was the oil talking. Let's talk about something else. Sure. I'd like to know more about this area. What do you think I am, a tourist bureau? Just a few questions. Well, make it quick. What can you tell me about this town? Flow? It's small. Quiet. I like it that way. People don't remember, but this used to be where the Wicked Witch's castle once stood. Really? We knocked it down and built this town in its place. Tell me about Shaggy's garage. Shaggy's a bit off in the head, but he's the best Gump guy in Oz. I don't know what his secret is, but Gumps come from all over the kingdom and get serviced here. What's the diner like? Wish I could tell you, but I'm not much for eating. People seem to like it, although they say it's kind of different. It's munchkin food, you know. I haven't had munchkin food in years. Well, now's your chance. Let's talk about something else. Sure. Is that your horse? He's called the Sawhorse. And yes, he's mine. Talk to him, if you want. We'll talk more later. If you say so. Hello? Yes? Who are you? I'm Petra. Uh, I'm the Sawhorse. You're made out of wood. You noticed, huh? It's hard not to. I thought my new shape would hide it, but people still notice. It's hard to be taken seriously when you're made out of wood. The governor tells me you know where the expedition team went. I don't talk about that. Can you take me to where they went? No, absolutely not. I don't want anything to do with that place. What place? I said I'm not talking about it. You're really made of wood. Do you mind? It's kind of a sensitive subject. Sorry. Thanks for your time. Shaggy, shaggy, shaggy. You wound me. You hurt me deeply. Haven't I always been good to you? Didn't I help you start your business? Yeah, but, uh, um... 
And have I asked for much in return? Think of where you'd be without me. You were eager for my help when you started, and now you want to refuse me? I didn't have much, um, choice, did I? There's always a choice. You can either pay me what you owe, or you don't. Just be prepared to accept the consequences. Uh, I understand. Good. Are you Shaggy? Um, yeah, that's me. What can I do you for? I'm Petra. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Um, okay. I'm looking for a keystone. Ever hear of it? Uh, um, no. Uh, well, I don't think so. Did an expedition party come here recently? The, uh, one from, um, uh, the Emerald City? Yes. They came here? Uh-huh. I, uh, stored their gump. They never came back for it. I had to, um, uh, sell it. What is this place? Gump Garage. I fix and, um, store gumps. I've heard stories about gump construction. They were built and then sprinkled with life powder. I assume you're licensed to use life powder? Yeah, totally. Um, of, of course. Certificates on the, um, uh, wall. Can you tell me anything about the Tin Man? Um, he's, uh, he's the governor. He does a good job? Yeah, sure. I have no complaints. Who is that frog? Frog Man. He's, um, a customer. You built him a gump? Um, yes. When someone stumbles over their words, it usually means they're lying. Shaggy, on the other hand, stumbles over all his words. So he's either lying all the time, a horrible speaker, or both. See you around, Shaggy. Um, sure. Seventy percent. Is that so much to ask? After all, think of all the work I've done on your behalf. You arrived here with nothing. Look what you've achieved. But seventy percent of all my earnings. A mere token of your appreciation. You do appreciate what I've done, don't you? Yes, but I was going to send that money home to my family on the farm. It hasn't rained in months. They need the help. If I give you 70%, I'll have barely enough left over to keep this place open. Then it appears you have a choice to make. My assistant will come by to collect later. Good day. Are you Miss Cake? That's me. Would you like a table? Uh, no. I'm not here to eat. My name is Petra. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Sure. Things are quiet, so I have time. I'm looking for something called a keystone. Have you heard of it? Keystone? No, I haven't. But I'm new to the area, so I'm not the one to ask. You're from Munchkin Country. Not that I needed to ask. Nobody would dress like that unless they were from Munchkin Country. That's me. Munchkin Farm Girl. Born and bred. What brought you here from Munchkin Country? The mountains, of course. Munchkin Country will always be home, but it's so flat and boring. Did an expedition team come into town recently? Hmm. I don't know. I only got here a few months ago. I haven't had the time to really get to know anybody. What sort of restaurant is this? Well, I can cook just about anything, but my specialty is Munchkin cuisine. Really? They can't get Munchkin food here in the Winky Mountains, so I'm bringing it to them. How are you doing that? Trade secret. Who was that frog? Oh, the frog man. He's just a customer of mine. You looked pretty upset when you were talking to him. Upset? No, not me. Things couldn't be better. What can you tell me about Nick Chopper, the governor? Oh, the Tin Man? He seems nice enough, but just between you and me, he doesn't act like a real governor. How so? Well, look at him, standing around drinking all day. It's shameful. Maybe he has a good reason to drink. Nothing could be that bad. 
How well do you know Shaggy, the gump mechanic? That funny man next door? That's the one. He comes in here sometimes, but we've never really talked. He hardly says a word. Well, I've got a dash. Sure, come back anytime. So, how much did you extort today? Extort? I do not extort. I merely get paid for services owed. You just watch your back, Frogman. You just remember who is really in charge here, Governor. Good night to you. Governor Chopper? Yeah. Who are you talking to? You're kidding, right? Everyone knows the Frogman. I'm not from around here. I don't know him. Well, consider yourself lucky. Who is he? If you asked him, he's a... <clears throat> a businessman. What kind of business? The protection business. Nah, the old protection racket. Some things never go out of style. So he's a mobster. You said it, not me. Why are you so afraid of him? Afraid? Who said I was afraid? You agreed with whatever he said. You're supposed to be in charge. Yeah? Well, it's not that simple. I might be in charge, but that guy's in control. What does he control? He controls half the businesses in Winky Country and pays off the other half. He's got everyone under his thumb, and there's nothing I can do about it. Why haven't you arrested him? Look. If I marched in there, it's not just the frogman I'm hurting. He controls countless businesses. And if he goes down, they all go down. So? If they do business with the mobster, they deserve what they get. Easy enough to say. But the Winky people are simple people. They just want to live their lives in peace. They deal with the frogman because it makes their lives easier. And if they didn't? Their lives would be a lot harder. And a lot shorter. So you do nothing? Hey, you think I haven't tried? There's no concrete proof. Without it, his lawyer would tie everything up in court for years. And then all of Winky Country gets dragged through the mud. So all you need is proof? Not just proof. We need airtight, solid evidence. Evidence so great there's no chance of it ending up in court. Let's make a deal. I get the evidence, and then you tell me where the expedition party went. Are you serious? Do I look like someone who jokes? Huh. <laughs> Why not? Sure, kid. I'll make that deal. If you can pull that off, I'll let you do anything you want. How do I get to him? Ask the sawhorse. He'll take you. Where does the frogman live? He's got a villa in the mountains. The sawhorse can take you. Just ask him. Anything I should be prepared for? The frogman is a slippery one. He's always got a trick up his sleeve, one way or the other. So be prepared for anything. Does he work with anyone? He's got an assistant living with him. If you speak to him, you'll have to go through her. Anything you can tell me about her? No. Nothing? No. Just leave it, all right? I think I touched a nerve. All right. Forget it. Let's change the subject. With pleasure. We'll talk more later. If you say so. Sawhorse. Yeah. Can you take me to the Frogman's villa? It's okay with the boss, so hop on. Sweet Lurline, would you look at the size of that place? You could fit my entire office on the front lawn. Hmm, there's a light on. There must be someone up there. Sweet Lurline, would you- You could fit my entire office on the front lawn. <laughs> 